hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of that new toy smell. I'm your host Mitch Live and I collect action figures and today we are having a look at Tanuki Mario by Jack Pacific. Here we have Tanuki Mario by Jack Pacific Toys from the Super Mario toy line. And he is in your classic blister packaging, uh, which is the typical packaging for Jack specific toys. This box is clearly not in wonderful shape. Uh, that's, uh, that sucks. What can you do? Sometimes they just don't ship it to you in good shape. But oh well, we're going to rip it open in a minute, so uh, I'm over it. The box itself stands uh, about eight and a half inches tall. And across the front it says, Tanuki Mario with coin. And up. Oh, there, you can see the coin that they are talking about. Uh, the side, you see the Super Mario logo. And on the opposite side, Tanuki Mario with coin in two languages. Which is two languages less than you normally see on the side of one of these. Huh, what do you know? On the back of the box, we see a picture of Tanuki Mario. And it gives you a little blurb, uh, which, which I'm going to disagree with right now. It says, in some games, well I guess it says in some games. That's, that's rather vague, isn't it? After grabbing a Super Leaf, mm, no, 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 Tanuki Mario is from Mario Brothers 3, and the Leaf does not activate this power. But, moving on, Super Leaf, Mario transforms into Tanuki Mario. This form decks Mario out with a fuzzy brown fur, ears, and a tail. Yes, that's accurate. Also gives Mario the ability to glide and tail whip enemies, which is the classic raccoon Mario powers, but it doesn't even say anything about the most interesting part about the Tanuki. The only power that separates Tanuki Mario, which you can see down here, from regular old raccoon Mario, which you see right here, is the fact that he can turn into a statue for like three seconds, makes him totally impervious to any attack. Where's the mention of that? That's the whole purpose of Tanuki Mario! It tells you here that he features 12 points of articulation, which is probably the most points of articulation I've ever seen on a Mario Jack specific figure, so uh, we'll have to test that out when we open them up. And across the bottom it shows you some other figures that are available from this toy line. And they're all Marios this time. We've got regular Mario with a question mark block, we've got propeller hat Mario with a little uh, mushroom power up. Why would he come with a mushroom power up? That mushroom power up won't even do anything to a Propeller Hat Mario. He's already Propeller Hat Mario. He's already got a better power-up than the one he comes with. What the frig? And then we see Builder Mario with his hammer, and we've got Raccoon Mario with the leaf. You know, the leaf that turns him into Raccoon Mario. Unlike Propeller Hat Mario, which comes with a mushroom for some reason. What's the deal, Jack Specific? And again, you see some of that crunchy, not not great looking box, but that's fine, because this box has had its day. Let's rip it open. And here he is, out of his box, the extremely elusive Tanuki Mario. And let's see if he passes the very first test. Will he stand on his own? Jack specific toys are pretty good for standing on their own. Bada bing, bada boom. To be honest, I was a little worried with his big, fat, heavy tail that he'd be a little back heavy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he's not that bad, actually. Uh, there is a slight imperfection in this figure. It's a big, there's a, there's a white chunk there in his mustache. Like, uh, like he accidentally got himself in the mustache with a buzzer, and, uh, yeah, that's... Definitely not supposed to be there. Is that a paint chip? Do they all come like that? I don't know. And again, this is a four inch toy line by Jack Specific. And this figure stands in particular three and a half inches. Most of the figures actually stand only around 3.5 inches. I think this is because Luigi is clearly the taller of the two brothers and he stands the full four inches. So to keep everybody the scale, I guess they all have to be a little shorter than Luigi. This guy brags about having 12 points of articulation, and that includes some um, motion in the head, shoulders, elbows. He actually lacks wrist movements. His wrists do not rotate at all. Uh, other than that, he's got hip and knee, I don't know, slash ankle. They're definitely knee joints, but his knee joint is almost one with his ankle because of his short, stubby legs. He comes with a coin, which I'm pretty sure is just the default thing that they throw in with a figure when they don't have anything better to put in. It's just like their go-to. It's their filler. This is a filler. Like regular Raccoon Mario, he comes with 
the leaf that activates Raccoon Mario. And this, they claim on the back of the box, is a power activated by a super leaf. I've never seen a super leaf, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But I mean, if that's the case, why don't you show me that super leaf instead of giving me this coin? I've got enough of these coins! Nonetheless, Tanuki Mario is one of my favorite Mario power-ups from all of the games. He just looks like a squeezable little teddy bear, you just want to give him a hug! So he's a little hard to stand, and he looks a little chubbier than he should, and his legs are a little stocky, and there's a weird nick in his mustache. So this isn't the greatest quality Jack specific figure, but I mean, none of these things are crappy enough that uh, I'm disappointed. I just gotta stand him somewhere where he's got, you know, room to tilt backwards and not knock over all the other figures. And of course, he is just an alternate version of Mario, but uh, as I stated in our full-length Mario episode covering a bunch more of these figures, uh, the alternate versions rule just doesn't apply for Mario. And this brings us to the end of another episode of that new toy smell. As always, there will be links in the description below that you can follow to purchase your own Tanuki Mario by Jack Specific. If you enjoyed this video, please toss us a like and subscribe and keep checking back because we have a ton more figures from this line to review. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on the toy shelf, and remember, you're never too old to play with toys.